and welcome everybody to another simple tutorial. This one's going to be a little different than uh, a lot of the stuff I've done before. Uh, not so much about games, but about the program settings uh, for OBS, uh, Elgato, and all of that. Uh, if you're trying to get started with doing your own recordings and things of that nature. So I will display on the screen kind of the setup that I have, all the, the video card that I'm using, and the recording software. Uh, and the capture card stuff that I have. Um, I know I struggled quite a bit in the beginning, so hopefully this will help a few of you. So what we're going to do is we're going to break this up into a couple different sections. First section we're going to start with is OBS and the basic settings with OBS that I'm using. Uh, so we will kind of get started with some of the basics. We'll go over here into the settings menu. And let's take a look at some of the first stuff that you'll probably end up playing around with. Uh, so if you go here to the output, this is how I have mine set up. I have mine broken into three audio tracks, which you will see a little bit later as to why I have that. The rate control is the CRF, and the CRF number here is 19. Um, in case you're wondering what this is, the default is like 24, and the lower the number, the higher the quality. Um, I guess you could say, kind of like the higher bitrate. Uh, for the setting that I have anything less than about 19, it seems like I start getting a little bit of lag, so 19 seemed to work pretty good. And then down here for the CPU usage, uh, what this is, is think about it of how much do we want to encode. So at ultra fast, it's going to do zero, basically zero encoding. Um, you're going to get a very large file, but you're going to put less stress on the CPU and on the uh, the computer itself. Uh, so I keep mine at super fast. Uh, oh, for the encoder, one thing I forgot to mention, the encoder is a X264, so I'm not using my video card to do the encoding, I'm using the CPU. And then the profile and the tune, I kept all the same. Um, didn't really change anything on those. So audio, um, just 160 all the way down. Streaming, I'm not streaming, so I've kind of left that of where it is all right so video uh if you are using the elgato h uh, hd60 pro um one of the crucial things that i found is to keep my common uh, fps values at 59.94 that is what the video capture card uh sends its signal at so this way you you don't get as much choppiness in it and then on any of the advanced for process priority i put towards the high um, I wanted to really make sure that it's, I'd rather the recording come out good than having my game run smooth, but then the, the, uh, recording is choppy. So I put that as a high process and then general really didn't make any differences on here. Um, it basically the default should be fine for you, especially if you're just getting started. Uh, hotkeys for the stop and start, I did change those. I have my home set for record and my end set for stop recording. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to move on to the inputs that I have, um, the sources. So for this, I have three different sources. And this will make a lot more sense um, as we go along. You will need to download something in the future if this is the path you want to go uh, moving forward, but I'll at least show you what I have. So the first source is the Elgato HD60, and for the settings on that, so if you just highlight it and then click the settings, you'll get this popped open. I left everything at default on here um, with the audio output to capture audio only, and then use a custom audio device, which is that uh, game capture. So um, I just wanted to capture the video or the audio that's coming off of this device only. Uh, for video, um, as you see here, we're running at the signal status, 1080, 59.94, two bits at 48 hertz. Um, oh, that's kind of another critical for your sound. Make sure that you are recording at the 48, otherwise you can start getting that choppy sound that starts coming back um almost chipmunk type things it's it's really weird for the video decode ntsm 
and left all of this stuff basically at default for the uh, the picture quality. All right, so then the mic, uh, the mic is separate. So that's just using my default, whatever my computer has for my mic. As you can see here, as I'm talking, it's actually kind of moving, so that's perfect. And then we have our desktop audio up here, which if we go into the settings, what I have here is this cable input. And we're gonna go over that next, but this allows me to separate out um, my different voices. So the cable is actually capturing uh, Discord audio. My mic is capturing my voice and the Elgato is capturing just the game. So this will allow me to split all those for editing purposes, makes it a lot easier. Um, I can, if I have individuals talking on Discord that I don't wanna hear or something happens and we need to edit that out, I can edit it and I'm not going to lose my game or my mic recording. So that's why that is the way it is. So speaking of that, let's run onto that next and go over the cable that you'll need to be able to do this. So for that, uh, if you just go to vbaudio.com forward slash cable forward slash index dash htm, uh, this is a free, and I, I use quotations of free, uh, cable download digital, what do you want to call it? A uh, virtual audio cable. Uh, if you just come over here and hit the download, you'll, you'll get the free cable. Now with the free version, this will give you one cable. Uh, if you want more, you can actually donate. I've heard individuals donating like 25 cents or a dollar, and then you can get up to two or three cables, which is very useful if you are not using a capture card. Um, with the capture card, that gives you kind of like one extra cable in a sense. But if you don't have that, you can donate and get a couple extra cables. And uh, there are some really good videos. I'll probably put a link down below. Um, that kind of links to a video where a individual goes over setting up multiple cables to be able to split out your audio. So if you're interested, make sure you click that link down in the, uh, the bio or in the description and you'll be able to, to get to that. So now that we have that taken care of, uh, the cables, I will show you kind of what we had to do to make that, um, to make that work. So. What we'll do is in the Elgato sound capture section, um, one of the things that you need to actually change is where the sound um, for your gameplay is actually is going and where you're going to hear it. So if you open up your sound capture, go to PC gaming, and then where do you want to hear your PC? You want to hear it on the Elgato um, AMD high definition. And then what is your output? Same thing, the Elgato. So that's gonna put all of your game sound through the Elgato video card, all right? After you kind of get that set up, then we need to go into, you put in here, go sound. Uh, we want to go to sound settings, sound control panel, and we end up with this little box here. And if we go down, you're going to see a few little options. So we have our cable input, uh, cable input uh, speakers and things like that. So if you go into playback, your speakers, that is my default, which is through, um, through the Elgato sound capture speakers. And then if we go into recordings, so you want to go into cable output properties listen and you want to put to listen to this device and play back through whatever whatever device you have that you're actually listening to so for me it's through my Focusrite usb through my headphones and so i want to listen to this cable through the Focusrite. and so we go up here and then do i believe it's the line and then we want to do the line for the Elgato sound. We want the same thing. We want to hear that come back through the focus right. Uh, and that is because we have all of our sound, all of our uh, speaker sounds going through the Elgato 
uh, device. So that's going to be uh, gameplay. Um, basically, any of your gameplay, any of your desktop audio is going through this, which is then coming through this line, which is being sent to listen through your focus right. Make sense? I know it's kind of weird, but that's kind of how that works. Um, if you put all of your desktop sounds through your focus right and you record that, your desktop audio is going to capture everything. So it's going to capture your Discord. It it won't split it. So that's kind of why we have that. All right. So next, to set up your Discord. Um, so that way you can split your, your sound levels out. And this will explain why we have that cable. So here on Discord. Oh, and as just a side note, if you guys haven't joined the Medusa uh, Discord, make sure you do that. Uh, you can head to here to this link and that will add you to the uh, Medusa Discord. But what we'll do is we'll come down here to user settings. We will go into voice and video. And for our output, we want our output to be the cable. All right. So that is going to put all that sound through the cable. And that's also why in our settings, we had put, you know, I want to listen to the cable through my headphones. So that way we can hear it, um, or you can hear it on your side through your headphones, but your computer is ignoring it. So when you do recordings, it's not going to show up on the desk phone or on your desktop audio. So you set that and then, you know, of course, set your, your volumes for whatever you need it to. And now through OBS. So what we have is our mic is capturing here that Elgato is going to capture any desktop audio. So that'll be video game audio. Um, if you were listening to Spotify, uh, that would get captured videos. All that would come up on your Elgato. And then the desktop audio, which if we go into desktop audio, it's listening to that cable, which is where our um, Discord sound is coming from. And so that allows you to split all three into separate uh, tracks. And then that is why when we go to our output under recording, we have one, two, three different tracks. Now to split those, what you do is you come to here. We will go to advanced audio properties. And on this one, you can tell what track do you want that sound. So track one, I want my Elgato. That's going to be my game audio or any other type of audio like that. And then track two, I want to be my own personal mic. And then track three, I want to be the desktop audio. So that way, which, which the desktop audio, I should probably rename this, but this is actually the Discord or the team chat audio. So that is how that works. All right, so there's one setting with the um, actual capture card that you should change. And really the only way to do that is to go into the software that came with Elgato, uh, the one that you can download. I think it's the uh, game capture. So this is uh, one area that you can use to actually control the capture card and the settings that it's using. So to, to do that, we'll go to show device and then we're going to go into capture. And what I'll do is I bump this all the way up to best and then allow 60 frames. Um, I keep the audio as the HDMI audio and input device is just the PC that I'm using. Uh, for picture and profiles, I keep that all basic. So think about it this way. Um, this is telling the capture card what signal do I want to send to the computer for it to record. Um, because it's doing kind of its own work, what I'll do is I'll take this all the way up to the highest quality and then use OBS to actually take that highest quality possible and then um, kind of downsize it to uh, decrease the bit rate and all that. So if you started off with like a better quality, your OBS is still going to record at the same CPU usage. It's still going to do the same amount and you're going to get a worse picture because it's a condensing a condensed image already. So you move your quality all the way up to best, 
click allow 60, which will give you that really strong 59.94. And that is a signal that it's sending um, for your capture card to work. Now for this, um, I'll probably show a little picture of how I have the back of my computer set up. And it's because you do need a couple cables to actually take care of this. Um, otherwise, it can get kind of weird. Um, but I have, I have a video card that has multiple outputs. So one output of my video card goes to my monitor. And then the other output from my video card goes into the capture card. Uh, that allows me to be able to see exactly what I'm doing. And then the capture card is capturing a duplicate of that. And so if we go into display settings and see here that I have two monitors. Really, I'm just using one monitor. But one monitor is the one that I'm seeing. The other monitor, which is a duplicate, which is a duplicate of these displays, is the one that the Elgato capture card is seeing. And since it's duplicating, it really doesn't add much uh, strain to the video card at all. Uh, so you will need that to actually make the, uh, all of this stuff work. Uh, otherwise, it can get very weird if you're going in to your video card and then out from the video card to your monitor. It can get a little weird. Um, with that being said, though, you still could do an output if you had like a separate TV and you were recording like, I don't know, let's say HDMI input from a GameCube or from a Nintendo Switch or something. Um, that Then things start getting a little, a little weird on that one. Yeah, so I believe that's it for this kind of quick tutorial. Uh, hopefully this was helpful. Uh, I know this is going to be a little bit of a long uh, tutorial. Um, definitely not... Not my normal uh, kind of quicker ones, but I wanted to really put some some specifics on this and go as in-depth as needed for anybody uh, that need to see. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, if you did, please make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Uh, it definitely helps out the channel a lot. Um, I definitely want to give a big, huge thanks to all the recent subscribers. Uh, this month, actually probably last month to two months, has been the best my channel has performed. Uh, I went from about 25 subscribers for like a year up to about 83 at the recording of this video. Uh, so thank you all very, very much. Make sure that you keep an eye out for an upcoming video where I'll go a little bit more um, into kind of an update to the channel, what's been going on. And then uh, also kind of go over some of the comments that I've, that I've received and a few shout outs. So uh, once again, if you want to get included in that, make sure you comment down below, and I'll try to get you included in the next video, all right? So take it easy. Thank you. As always, keep it simple, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.